What's up everyone? It's time for another disc review and today we have the Ozone by Trash Panda. I've been waiting to get my hands on this disc. I'm so looking forward to throwing it. Bought this at Idlewild uh, at the disc golf tournament a couple of weeks ago. Have not thrown it. So I'm really looking forward to this. I believe I have this in the premium plastic. Feels really great by the way. Um, but let's go over the numbers first. Eight, six, negative three, one. So it's an eight on the power, six on the glide. That's a really nice glide. Negative three on the turn when you're throwing backhand, then a one on the fade coming back in. Feels really good, really kind of gummy. Feels nice and grippy. Dome-wise, got a good dome on it. Kind of flattened it up in the dome. A um, little poppy maybe. You got your typical kind of bead coming around on there, I think for a fairway slash distance driver. And some people may consider this to be a fairway driver instead of a distance driver because of that eight speed. Uh, for me, I throw mostly nine and 10 speeds on my distance drivers. I do have an 11 speed I throw, but mostly uh, nine and 10. So this may be a fairway driver or it may be a distance driver for me. For you, this depends. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm expecting this disc to, on my backhand, to go nice and right for me. And then it's ever so much fade back to the left, but I'm expecting to have nice glide. So we'll see. Now it's getting really hot really quick. So we really want to get to throwing this. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Hey, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. Make sure you click that bell to get notified of any other videos that are coming out. Leave a comment below. Have you tried the, any of Trash Panda's discs? What do you think about them? Do you have a question about this disc? Go ahead and put that below. All right, back to the video. So first throw impression that was a little low, maybe came out of the hand a little bit early, but did you see how it stayed stable? Pretty much went straight and just faded a little bit on that nice low shot that came out maybe a little early. All right, let's try it again. Now, so far on my throws, I found it more stable than understable. It's pretty much going straight, maybe a little bit to the right, uh, and then it's coming back to the left, almost straight, and then to the left, almost like a negative one to a one. And that's awesome. I like a, to have a nice straight disc. Now, when I threw it back, hopefully I got this on camera, when I just threw it back, I accidentally put a little ante on it. I think I dipped my shoulder, actually. Um, and it's went more negative, more, more understable, um, maybe negative four almost, and it flipped back up real nice and held uh, a nice straight line after it flipped up and then faded back in just a little bit. So if you can put any on it, you can really get this thing to go to the right for you and then just flip back up, so it flips up nice. Um, I'm gonna try again, just, just flow, throwing it straight and, and see if I can't get it to uh, maybe go a little more understable, just throwing flat. Yeah, it just seems to me, the way I throw at least, that it's more of like a negative one, one, and a negative three. Uh, this is the way I release. So if you release a little bit differently, it might be a little more understable. For you, but to me, it's pretty much a stable disc. Yeah. So I'm having overheating problems on my camera because it's getting so hot. And I just had some great shots of throwing throwing uh, Anheuser and it flipping up. And it didn't kit it, of course. So I'm going to try to do it again. Murphy's Law. See if it, it uh, works or not before it overheats again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. All right, hopefully I got that one on there. My phone keeps heating up and I'm struggling to get it on camera, but hopefully that last one where I did Annie and you saw it kind of go to the right, uh, then back to the left, flipping up and everything. Hopefully you got that. So I'm gonna try to close this out real quick. This is a nice disc. 
I am going to bag this. All right, because if it'll go straight, if I throw it flat and I put a little ante on it and throw it right, then it is going to stay to the right for me on my backhand. Now, I don't have time to throw it forehand. I'm not the greatest forehand thrower. I'll probably throw it forehand here at the end just to see what happens. But this is a good disc. I highly recommend it. It's a way to support another fellow YouTuber if you'd like to do that and a smaller company as well. So you can go to Trash Panda's YouTube channel. I'll try to link it below and you can go there. And I'm pretty sure there's a website there that you can click on and try to order these. Maybe your local retailer in your city may have them as well. Uh, but they, again, this is the Ozone. Uh, they don't have any branding on the front of their disc as far as I know. And I kind of like that. It's kind of kind of sleek and cool that way. Definitely a, a good disc, fairway slash distance driver. Um, and, I, and I like it. So go get one and give it a try. Thanks for joining us. And as we say, go man, go. Get out and throw. Not too bad of a forehand, huh? See you next time.